What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. So what I want to do today is, um, I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. There are some spoilers out there that announce that like certain Pokemon are confirmed for the game. We basically know all the returning Pokemon and today's video will be based off of that information. Obviously we don't know any of the new Pokemon except for what's been revealed. But what I'm going to be talking about today are the Pokemon that are returning that I actually think will make pretty decent uh, Terra targets, I, I guess as it will call them, uh, ter terrestrializing targets, um, and just talk about why I think those will be the case. So yeah, uh, before we get into that, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content, and answer my comment question of the day. Did I miss anything? Is there a Pokemon that's probably going to be a great terrestrial target uh, that you can think of? Uh, but yeah, Let's just go ahead and get into it. Obviously, if you don't want to be spoiled about what Pokemon will be returning that have not yet been announced, or sorry, my dog is barking in the background, uh, that have not yet been announced, um, you know, don't don't watch the video. But yeah, let's get into it. So first of all, Dragonite. We're confirmed Dragonite's coming back, and I actually think Dragonite's a like really really good Terrastal target uh, for a few reasons. Um, Dragonite is a Pokemon that now gains access to Inner Focus, meaning that it can dragon dance and never worry about being intimidated. It can even swords dance if it really wants to. It does get swords dance. It does get swords dance. Ignore that. Ignore that comment. Uh, but obviously, you know, Dragonite has a pretty phenomenal move set. It can run like move sets like this. Um, sorry, Dragon Claw, Dragon Claw, Dual Wing Beat, Extreme Speed, Dragon Dance sets. Uh, you usually set up like a Life Orb on this guy for just insane damage output and have inner focus. So you can't be flinched or intimidated. Uh, but sometimes you'll drop like Dragon Claw for like Earthquake or something. Dragonite is a Pokemon that has such great coverage across the board that you don't even have to run like stab moves, to be honest. There are several formats in the past where Dragonite did not run stab moves. Like if we just go by, obviously you can be like a special attacker, but if we just go by like physical moves that have high power, uh, you can see this thing gets access to Super Power, it gets Earthquake, Stone Edge, uh, Aqua Tail if you really want to, Iron Tail, you can become pretty much any type you want and not have to worry about, um, not have to worry about Terra Blast being like the move that carries you, because obviously any Pokemon gains access to a stab move via Terra Blast, uh, however, that move I would assume isn't as strong as stuff like Stone Edge or like Dynamic Punch or whatever, so this is gonna be a pretty phenomenal Pokemon for that side of things, but even just becoming like Terra Flying type and being able to use like an extra powerful Dual Wing Beat off of Life Orb and plus one is pretty crazy. Uh, if you're unaware, the multiplier for um, a Terra typing that is the same type that you have uh, is basically just like adaptability. You basically just gain adaptability, so yeah. Um, for moves or for uh, typings that you don't already have, you just gain stab. So it's like if this thing becomes a normal type, now it has a 50% boost on normal moves, but lose all, loses all of its previous stab, where if it wants to become a flying type, which is a typing it already has, it loses its dragon typing still and becomes pure flying type. However, it will now have adaptability on the flying moves. So that's how it works. So I think Dragonite's actually like probably my, my like close to number one pick. I think it's pretty good. But yeah, Scizor. Don't turn into a bug type with this guy. Do not turn into a bug type. That is a waste of a Terra because, you know, you, you might like you turn in and out. I actually don't know if Terra ends by switching. I would assume it doesn't. Um, but for the most part, it's it's bullet punch, dude. This thing already has insanely strong bullet punches off a of life orb and swords dance. Uh, and becoming pure steel type makes it harder to knock this thing out with fire moves because obviously fire moves can one shot it. But it has 70 HP, 100 defense, 80 special defense. It can eat one fire move if it were pure steel type. So, you know, you could run like um, Swords Dance, Bullet Punch. I guess you could run U-Turn if you really want to. It depends if it switches it or not. And then like Dual Wing Beat. You could even become like a flying type if you really wanted to, but I don't think that's actually that great. But obviously, you know, te these technician moves hit like a truck. Bullet Punch becomes 60 base power. Uh, and then you also get the stab on that. So that's an extra 50%. Uh, U-Turn, you know, is already you know, not technician boosted, but Dual Wing Beat, you know, that's uh, that's basically Brave Bird. It's the same power as Brave Bird, but you exchange accuracy for um, for uh, not taking any recoil. So that's actually really nice for Scizor. Speaking of Steel types, there's actually another Pokemon that wants to become Terra Steel. Uh, Berserker is actually kind of insane. So this guy already gets a 50% boost to his Steel moves on top of the stab that he already gets, meaning that he has some pretty insanely good damage output off of like, basically just like an Iron Head, like... If you put Iron Head on this guy and like you just have max attack, like it's it's gonna two-shot most things. Uh it's gonna one-shot a lot of things. And it also doesn't have like a bad move pool. 
It gets ground moves, I'm pretty sure. Does it get ground moves? It gets dig, I'm sorry. It gets iron head, close combat. Um, what else does it get? It gets lash out, I forgot. Like it, it has some pretty decent um, coverage moves. Uh, U-turn is also like not that bad, but becoming a terror steel type, like this thing under trick room could actually be pretty devastating. Yeah, it's not like the strongest Pokemon, but having like 50%, 50% and then another 50% is like some insane multipliers that are pretty hard to beat. Obviously, it's Intimidate weak, so that's something you have to watch out for. But yeah, I mean, like it's going to be a Pokemon that might actually be somewhat viable as a uh, Terra Pokemon. So yeah, Sylveon. Now, Sylveon is going to be another Pokemon that we want to Terra into the type that it already is. I don't think it's a smart idea to not become a fairy type, uh, but obviously Pixelate plus Hyper Voice is some pretty insane damage output or not Hyper Beam. I mean, you could run that if you want to one-shot things and just become like a war criminal. Uh, but if you want to run like Choice Specs Hyper Voice, like it deals insane damage to things across the board, even off of just 110 spe uh, base special attack. Under Trick Room, this thing's pretty devastating. You could even run um, Throat Spray, assuming that item comes back, which it probably will. But being able to turn yourself into a fairy type on top of that with the Terrastal thing uh, and giving yourself adaptability on your Hyper Voices, which already have the Pixelate boost, insane damage output. Like Incineroar... If it comes back into the game, probably just a clean two shot, no matter how special defensive they are. Uh, they're going to need steel types to do with this thing. And even then, it's probably going to maintain access to mystical fire, which is pretty good. I mean, even then, like you could actually like just make it a fire type that has access to fairy moves. <laughs> uh, you could become like terrestrial fire and just use like mystical fire the whole time. Or who knows, maybe Terra Blast is going to be like better than mystical fire. But I think mystical fire is a pretty great move. Anyways, Sylveon. Gyarados is going to be one of the unpredictable ones. Could it become Terra uh, Water? Yes. Could it become Terra Flying and use uh, Terra Blast as its like main stab option? Yes. However, everyone always forgets that Gyarados is the best grass is the best grass type. It's Sword and Shield. Dragon Dance Power Whip is a staple of its Sword and Shield move set, uh, especially in early formats like Series One through Series Five, or even Six, and sometimes into Seven, you would see it. Uh, but yeah. Dragon Dance Power Whip, insane. If this thing becomes a grass type, not only does it become like the only good grass type with Dragon Dance, I think, um, but it also keeps Intimidate and uh, gets Stab on its Power Whip. And it's immune to Rage Powder, which is actually a pretty phenomenal bonus. Uh, on top of that, like I said, Gyarados is going to be one of the unpredictable Terra Pokemon because of all the good Terra types they can run. It can be a pretty good ground type. Uh, it can even be a pretty decent dark type, like Dragon Dance into Stab Crunches isn't bad, and you're immune to Prankster moves, so you can't be Thunder Waved, uh, or Prankster Thunder Waved, you can't be, um, not Priority Moves, you, you get immune to Prankster moves, so you can't be Prankster Thunder Waved, Prankster Burnt, Prankster Taunted, uh, and most Pokemon that want to run those moves are still Prankster Mons, so that's actually really decent. Lum is probably still a great item, but like I said, like, Terra's a offensive thing primarily, so like, Life Orb's probably the best. But yeah, like this is going to be an unpredictable Pokemon. Tyranitar. I think that Tyranitar is just going to become like pure rock type. I think that's just it. I think you just like run Stone Edge and you're just a pure rock type because you'd like get rid of that huge weakness that it has. No more U-turn weakness. Uh, no more fighting type one shots. That's all I really got for the guy. He's good. Like he's going to be good. I don't know if he's the best uh, Terra Pokemon to look at, but I thought it'd be worth pointing him out that he actually gained something from this ability. Uh, and also it's a Dragon Dance Pokemon, you know, you could, you could do like Dragon Dance into like Terra Rock Slide and start one-shotting things, like that could be pretty decent, yeah. Hariyama, actually the more I think about it, it might want to stay Dark type because of that burn immunity, but, or the Prankster burn immunity, but whatever. Hariyama is actually one that I've seen pointed out a few times, it's known for running Guts Life Orb with Fake Out, Knock Off, Close Combat, and sometimes you see like Wide Guard or like whatever tech move, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of Protect, personally. Uh, but yeah, Hariyama is like a really powerful Pokemon in regional decks formats where it's available. It is unable to have its attack cut by burn because it's a guts Pokemon. It's unable to be put to sleep because it has that burn all the time. It has access to some of the strongest moves in the game with that standard 50% boost off of the 120 based attack. But it also gets access to facade. So if this thing wanted to, it could become a normal type and honestly... 144 HP, 120 attack, Trick Room normal type does not sound bad, especially when you get Stab on your um, Guts Life Orb, or not Life Orb, sorry, Flame Orb, I don't know why I said the Life Orb, uh, when you get Stab off of your like Guts Flame Orb facade, that's going to be insane damage, and at that point, if you have Guts Flame Orb and Stab on your Fake Out, 
you're going to start doing like 30-40% to some mons with Fake Out. It could be worth looking into. Garchomp. Uh, it's going to become a ground type. It's it's just going to it's going to become a ground type and it's going to click Earthquake. That's that's all I have to say about it. It got Dragon Dance this gen, I'm pretty sure. No, it was Flygon that got Dragon Dance. My bad. <laughs> it, it it could do Swords Dance stuff. Woo! You could even Choice Scarf it. Woo! Maybe make it a Rock type. Get, get Stab on your flinch. This is one that I threw in here as a hard cope. I like Cryogonal. I think it's a cool Pokemon. Um, it is awful as a defensive Pokemon. Even though it has like really great special defense, uh, it is conceptually bad because it's an ice type. But it's kind of interesting because it can be offensive too. It's 105 speed, 95 special attack. It can eat like, it, it's more like it can eat a special move if it has to. However, this thing gets access to flash cannon, iron defense, and recover. I could actually see this thing being like a decent Terra Steel type. If you really, really wanted to, you could try it out. Because also as a Terra Steel type, having levitate is really big. You're only weak to fire and fighting moves. Uh, so yeah, basically I could see this thing being like, you know, you run enough speed to outspeed like base 100 Pokemon. So you go like timid and like, I don't know, what is it? It's like 169 for base 100s. Max out that HP and like put a little bit into like defense or whatever. You could do like something like this, right? And then you just run like Iron Defense, Flash Cannon, Recover Protect. And like, while I know that like Flash Cannon won't be the strongest thing off of this, it still is able to drop special defense stats. So like, I don't know. This is just like a weird cheese idea I had for singles, even though it's a VGC channel. I just wanted to point out that this thing wouldn't be a terrible steel type. So yeah. Uh, Hydreigon. Speaking of good steel types, this thing's going to be insane. Turn it into a steel type and it has levitate. It's basically better cryogonal, but it's more offensive and less defensive. Actually, it's about as defensive. <laughs> God, cryogonal sucks. Uh, but yeah. It has a few options. I personally think that um, turning it into a steel type is the best, but it also gets access to stuff like Thunder, um, Thunder Fang. Why do I think it got Thunderbolt? Whatever, you could use Terra Blast for that. You can make it into like a, an electric type and go for like, you know, Thunderbolt off of this thing and make it like an, make it uh, have no weaknesses. Basically a better Electros across the board and it gets Nasty Plot. So honestly, like if you put like, we'll put Terrain Pulse, but pretend it's Terra Blast. If you did like something like this, no one really bat an eye. You could even like life orbit or focus sash it to make sure you get that nasty plot off and then just hit things with like, um, sorry, at that point you'd probably just run like Draco Meteor. Um, Draco. Draco Meteor. At that point you just like hit things with your stab electric moves. It wouldn't be a bad electric type because then you have absolutely no weaknesses. Next is Delmize. It is in the same camp as Perserker. However, um, it just has Steelworker already. So basically you just get adaptability or you, you just get like, yeah, you get 1.5 times 1.5. That's just the thing. Uh, Anchor Shot is not a bad move. It also has access to Heavy Slam, which is pretty good. I don't know. It's worth looking into. I don't think it's going to be amazing, but it's it's notable. Colossal. I think that Colossal could actually be decent this gen, despite it probably not going to be decent. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... I'm going to spoil this. Uh, Bruxish is in the game, which has the ability Dazzling, which is basically just Queenly Majesty. You can't use priority moves against it. And it gets access to Aqua Jet. Now, if you're going to use anything terror related on Colossal, you do this. You do Weakness Policy. You do Rock Slide. You still run like a fire move. I would say like, I don't know, Heat Crash is probably fine. Um, protect, right? Like high horsepower. And you turn it into a, a rock type. You make it Terra Rock because that is going to be your highest damage output. Uh, you get the adaptability on your rock slide. You go up to plus two. You Aqua Jet to activate the steam engine and the weakness policy. And then you have the most devastating, fastest rock slide flinch machine in the game. Like, I think it hits harder than like Choice Band Rampardos at this point. Um, yeah, like it, if you give it like that, that Terra, it's probably going to do that. Obviously, you could turn it into a fire type as well, and then go for like, you know, Terra Heat Waves uh, at plus two, which could be devastating, but I think that the Rock Side Flinch is going to be far more usable, uh, just in terms of like utility for flinching things. But obviously, you know, um, you won't have to worry about Intimidate if you go with a special attacking set and just go with Heat Wave, so it's it's up it's up to you. It's in the air, you know. Uh, Toxtricity. Boom Burst. High special attack. You know, Punk Rock. Very strong move. Make it a normal type. Noivern. Boom Burst. Decent special attack. Really fast. Make it happen. Landorus. Uh, sheer Force. Earth Power. 
life orb. You already know what's going on here, right? But the thing is, Landorus doesn't even have to be like the earth power machine that we all know and love it as. It could also now use flying moves. Uh, obviously, you have to give up the ability to, you know, make it, you know, have like really powerful earth powers. But it doesn't really care because it has life orb sheer force anyways. Like it's sludge bombs hit like a truck if you really wanted them to. But now it can run Terra Blast. We'll put Terrain Pulse again. Terra Blast into a flying move isn't that bad. Um, obviously, if it had Air Slash, it'd be absolutely broken. But yeah, this thing has a lot of options, like Extra Sensory, um, or not Extra Sensory, sorry. Psychic is actually the better one. I just always forget that it gets Psychic. Psychic, it has like a lot of moves that it can actually use um, its ability with. So tearing into any one of those could be pretty decent. I would say for the most part, you want to be a ground type. But if you want it to be pure flight type, it's still really devastating. And you keep that... Um, you keep that ground immunity. However, I think the electric immunity is probably better for it in the long run. Actually, just turning into a pure ground type is probably the play because at that point, you don't worry about uh, Regieleki Electrowebs and you no longer get one shot by ice moves. So yeah, I'm gonna say ground type for that guy. Basky Legion, it's just another adaptability Pokemon. I thought I pointed out, make it a ghost type, make it a water type. It can do whatever it needs to do. And yeah, uh, those are just the Pokemon that like I was looking into as far as Terramons go. Uh, you know, we got Dragonite, Scizor, Berserker, um, Sylveon, Gyarados, Tyranitar, Hariyama, Garchomp, Cryogonal's kind of a meme, um, Hydreigon, Delmise, Colossal, uh, what's his name, what's his name, what's his face, Landris, and the fish. Uh, all of these could make pretty decent Terramons. Obviously, we won't know what's going to be great until the format drops, until we practice, and obviously, there are going to be some Mons that I missed, some Pokemon that, like, would turn into a completely different type and just like wreck house that way. Uh, we don't know yet. What I wanted to point out right now was basically just the mons that are objectively and clearly really heavy hitters with the Terra boost. So yeah, uh, obviously, you know, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you have any comments you want to leave, if you have any opinions on some of my opinions, if you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm stupid, if you think I'm stinky, let me know. And yeah, uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, do whatever, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.